Hey guys. So every now and then I like to sit around and play with makeup and listen to music and sometimes I film it. This video was actually filmed ugh, almost a year ago and I was gonna redo it, never did, was kind of like meh, I don't know what I'm doing. So it just kind of kicked around. I have a few videos sort of stuck in a vault somewhere. This is orange and black though and I thought, you know what, for Halloween this might actually be kind of cool to watch. So I'm going to start here with a Mac Pro paint stick in Genuine Orange. This is going to go on the outer third of the upper lid and pulled into the crease up near the brow. Next is one of the Chanel Illusion d'Ombre eyeshadows. This is Mirafique, I believe is the name of the black one. Just put on the inner third of the lid and then blended a little bit into the crease and kind of down into the socket. This is one of those um, MAC Mineralized Shadows from Style Black. It was called uh, Cinderfella, I believe. I just wanted a lot of sparkle. A little bit of gray from a Estee Lauder palette that I don't remember the name of. I'll put it in the description of the video uh, just to kind of blend in that black. Off the page right here, this was discontinued. Uh, it's limited edition from MAC. Any light, bright orange will work just to kind of blend these two colors together. Don't over blend because you don't want to turn that black into just a big muck of gray. Orange Crush by Estee Lauder. This was limited edition Bergdorf exclusive last year. Any deep red orange shadow will work. I loved this color though. This is beautiful. When Lauder decides to do a big wow impact bunch of color, they really, really know how to do it. Um, bringing it down into the lower lid. I think I take um, more of the Chanel shadow here, yeah, and put that into the lower lid, and then just whatever's left on my blending brush of the orange, kind of to sort of buff that in and bring some of the orange down. Reflex Transparent Glitter by MAC. This is uh, Reflex Transparent Clear. It's whatever the clear pearl. Reflex Transparent Pearl. Any of the Reflex glitters are really, really awesome, but again, I had to have more sparkle. Eyeliner, uh, this is Max V line, and mascara. This is the Chanel Aminimum mascara that I can never pronounce right. I kind of liked it for a while, but I actually found that it dried out really quick, so it um, quickly became not one of my favorites. The foundation that I use, as usual, is my Mac Studio Fix Fluid. Uh, just kind of smoothing it out. You can try and guess which song I'm singing along to here if you'd like. <laughs> Just cleaning things up and a clean blending brush just to sort of make sure all the edges are nice. Um, a little more off the page up into the brow. Again any true orange will work. Now I tried to find, I'm going to pause this, I tried to find what shadow it was that I used. This is a bright sort of yellow gold. I thought it was a Lancome one but I don't have a long comb shadow that looks like that, so I have no clue what this was, but any sort of bright metallic yellow gold will um, will work, just to, to make that uh, center kind of highlight on the lid just really, really pop. And there's that um, Estee Lauder eyeshadow palette again. The, the five color, uh, the quints as I like to call them, are really, really nice. I really love them. Um, this is just Max Brow Set, uh, just to kind of I'm just running this through the brow, but you can see I'm not taking it through the whole brow. I'm actually just taking it to the middle part of the brow. I should have bleached them at this point, but um, I didn't. Any guesses? Any guesses? This is Max Chromaline. I'm going to do a line just really close, a small little bitty wing right up near the top lash line. Uh, Max Devil. I love this blush. Um, I, I'm going to show you here how I do blush too because um, I never really show myself applying it. Uh, I tend to really kind of build. I place it and then I buff it into non-existence. I don't know why I do that. I just do. Um, I also go in here with uh, Cantaloupe uh, by MAC, which is very similar to Melba. If you have Melba, they're, they're very similar to one another. Cantaloupe is just, um, it's kind of like Melba on steroids. Um, but this devil is beautiful. It's a it's a dark, dark 
gorgeous red orange. It's, it's probably similar to that Estee Lauder uh, dark orange shadow orange crush that I was showing you earlier. This is cantaloupe, again brushed around. It's named that tune. Uh, and that's um, pretty much it for the look. I'm going to follow up with an Estee Lauder Pure Color Gloss. This was also from the Orange Crush Collection, limited edition. This is just beautiful. It's a shame that it's not permanent. Um, one of the Illamasqua uh, full coverage, those glosses that they make would probably um, mimic this pretty well. And that's the look. Up close. And far away because <laughs> why not <laughs> all right guys that's it uh, i hope you enjoyed this and um, let me know leave a comment question anything like that and i will see you soon take care and drive safe